हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ राजेंद्र महाजन प्रेजेंटिंग माय वीडियो ऑन कर्ट ट्रेसिंग कार्टिशियन कर्ट ट्रेसिंग एग्जांपल ट्रेस द कर वाई क्यूब इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर इनटू टू ए माइनस वाई विथ फुल जस्टिफिकेशन एज इट इज कार्टिशियन टाइप ऑफ कर टू ट्रेस इट वे टू फॉलो फाइव पॉइंट और फाइव स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज द सिमेट्री देफो to decide the symmetry of the curve we have to check the degree of each and every term here the degree of x is even and therefore curve is symmetrical about y axis as power of x is even curve is symmetrical about y axis and no any other symmetry second point origin and tangent set the origin and to check this point we have to put x and y zero in the equation put x is equal to zero and y is equals to zero in the equation therefore uh, left hand side becomes zero right hand side becomes zero means we get zero is equals to zero that is curve passes through origin and as curve passes through the origin uh, we require to find the tangents at the origin and to find that tangent we have to find the lowest degree term in that equation uh, degree of the first term is 3 degree of second term is 2 and degree of third term is 3 therefore the lowest degree term is 2a into x square 2 a into x square equate that lowest degree term to zero it implies x square equal to zero means x is equal to zero and x is equal to zero these are the two tangents at the origin or x equal to 0 means y axis therefore this y axis is a common tangent or repeated tangent and therefore whenever we get a common tangent at origin we get a curve point whether we have to show that curve up in upper portion or in the lower portion that we decide by finding the region only remember here we get a, a cusp cusp means a pointed shape we get cusp at origin uh, then uh, next point is point of intersection with y axis as it is symmetrical to y axis we get the point of intersection with y axis and for that we have to substitute x is equals to 0 in that equation and therefore when we put x is equals to 0 right hand side term becomes 0 therefore it is y cube is equal to 0 means y equal to 0 taking cube root on both side and therefore the point is when x is 0 we get y as 0 therefore only origin is the point of intersection therefore no any other point of intersection other than origin a single point of intersection therefore already i have shown that point in this xy coordinate system where we are getting a cusp and whatever the curve we have to draw it is symmetrical to y axis
then next one is the asymptote as core is symmetrical to y axis we get asymptote parallel to x axis and the procedure is where to find the highest degree term in x a uh, single term of x that is x square and then its coefficient coefficient is 2a minus y equate that coefficient to 0 and therefore equating that coefficient 2a minus y is equal to 0 that is we get y is equal to 2a as asymptote parallel to x axis and therefore we try to show this asymptote in that figure uh, this is the line y is equal to 2a and we are calling this line as asymptote asymptote means this line becomes a tangent to the curve at infinity and therefore uh, it is not possible to show that infinity point therefore indirect way we have to make a part of the curve as parallel to that line it means that that becomes a tangent to the curve at infinity the last point region solve the equation for x we have to rewrite that terms therefore transferring this term to other side we get x square is equal to y cube divided by 2a minus y and then we have to obtain the values of y for which x square becomes a negative therefore there are two terms of y one in numerator and another in denominator therefore if we consider this numerator term first point if y is less than 0 means negative then x square is negative that is x is imaginary when we take a square root of negative term we get imaginary quantity means curve does not exist for values of y less than 0 therefore this is the y less than 0 or negative side of y therefore for these values curve does not exist that is one then another term is 2a minus y from this term we can write if y is greater than 2a then suppose uh, greater than 2a means suppose 3a 2a minus 3a we get x square as negative That is x is imaginary if we take a square root means curve does not exist for y greater than 2a means in the figure this is y is equal to 2a greater than 2a means on the upper side of that line curve does not exist means what curve exists between this line and x axis on upper side curve does not exist on lower side of this curve does not exist means this is the region where curve exists that is curve exists between y equal to 0 to y equal to 2a and therefore uh, here the discussion is completed then using this discussion we have to complete the figure therefore first point is the symmetry curve is symmetrical about y axis means whatever the figure we have to draw it must be symmetrical to y axis second it is passing through origin yes 
therefore origin is the point on the curve and at origin what we are getting tangents tangent is y axis a common tangent x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 is a common tangent means that curves we have to show in the upper side why upper side why not lower side because curve exists between this region only curve does not exist in the lower portion and therefore i will make us a, a curve here and the curve is symmetrical about y axis therefore symmetrical part of this part about y axis therefore i have shown the curve a pointed shape at origin then another discussion is uh, asymptote we are getting the line y is equal to 2 as asymptote means that line becomes the tangent at infinity therefore indirect way to make it tangent at infinity we have to make a part of the curve as parallel to this line and therefore i will show somewhat parallel part to that line and symmetrical portion on this side also okay and then curve exists between this x axis and the line y is equal to 2a therefore we have to join these two parts of the curve smoothly not by means of a straight line because it is not a linear curve the equation is non linear and therefore we join that part of curve to this asymptote part uh, this is the half part of that curve then we draw a symmetrical we draw a symmetrical portion of the curve about y axis on this left side therefore this is the required curve where whatever we have discussed is re reflected in that figure we check that point one by one again what is the symmetry of the curve curve is symmetrical about y axis yes curve is passing through origin yes origin is the point on the curve the tangents at the origin therefore this y axis is a tangent and that's why we are writing here a curve as it is a common tangent to this one part of the curve and to this another part of the curve uh, therefore that y axis become a common tangent we can write down here also a common tangent then point of intersection with y axis no any other point of intersection other than origin only single point of intersection third a fourth asymptote parallel to x axis we are getting the equation as y is equal to 2a therefore uh, suppose this much distance is a and this much distance is 2a therefore y equal to 2a this line is called as asymptote means it becomes a tangent to this curve at infinity uh, indirect way to sh show it we have to make a part of the curve as a parallel to this line slightly parallel on both side and then last point region curve exists between x axis and the line y is equal to 2a line parallel to x axis means curve does not exist on the negative side of y axis and curve does not exist for values y greater than 2a on the upper side of this line means this is the region where curve exists and in that region only i have completed the figure this is the required figure whenever we have to trace any cartesian curve explicit type we take the help of this five point procedure the first point 
symmetry second point origin and tangents at the origin third point point of intersection with either x axis or y axis depending upon the symmetry uh, fourth asymptote parallel to x or parallel to y hmm. and last point is the region generally the question is asked for 5 marks uh, division of marks or the scheme of marking is uh, for discussion 3 marks and 2 marks for the figure if your discussion is correct with uh, justification for each and every point then only you will get that 3 marks and the figure not too small or too big and correct labeling then two marks for that figure and if you draw the figure directly without any discussion uh, you will get directly zero mark therefore first of all we have to discuss the points with justification to each and every point and then we complete the figure please like my video share it as well as subscribe to my channel and to receive the notification for such type of new videos please press the bell icon thank you thanks for watching